Eight Stoic Principles So That Nothing Can Affect You The Stoic Philosophy of Epictetus Stoicism Epictetus once said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This timeless wisdom forms the foundation of our journey today, as we dive into eight Stoic principles so that nothing can affect you, inspired by the profound teachings of Epictetus. In a world teeming with challenges and uncertainties, be it in our careers, relationships, or the ever-changing social landscape, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. However, Stoicism offers us a beacon of clarity. Epictetus, a master of this philosophy, teaches us to distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot, reminding us that true power lies within our internal choices, our beliefs, attitudes, and reactions. In this video, we'll explore the core Stoic principles that empower us to remain unaffected by external circumstances. We'll uncover how to harness the strength of our internal world to rise above the noise of daily life, stay grounded amidst chaos, and find peace in the face of adversity. Join us on Stoic in your life as we unravel these profound lessons from Epictetus, equipping you with the tools to navigate modern life's complexities with unwavering resilience and inner tranquility. Let's embark on this transformative journey together and learn to master our responses, no matter what life throws our way. Lesson 1. Handling Insults and Offenses Picture this, you're walking through your day minding your own business when suddenly someone hurls an insult at you. It stings, doesn't it? But what if I told you that the true power of that insult doesn't lie in the words themselves or the person who uttered them? Instead, it's entirely in your hands, in how you choose to perceive and react to it. This isn't just a modern idea, but a timeless principle taught by the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. He famously said, Remember, it is not he who reviles or strikes you who insults you, but your opinion that these things are insulting. Think about that for a moment. When faced with provocation, the real challenge is not in the insult itself, but in our interpretation of it. Imagine having the ability to step back and observe your thoughts and emotions before they sweep you away. This is the heart of Stoicism, mastering our perceptions to maintain inner peace. It's not about suppressing our feelings but understanding them. When someone demeans or disrespects you, ask yourself, Does this insult have any inherent power over me? The discomfort it causes is a product of my internal processing, my choice to feel offended. By realizing this, you reclaim your power. You can choose to see the insult for what it is, just words, devoid of meaning unless you give them one. Consider this. When you react negatively to an insult, you give the insulter exactly what they wanted, your emotional response. But what if you responded with indifference? What if you didn't give them the satisfaction of seeing you upset? A stoic response, calm and unbothered, renders their efforts futile. This doesn't mean you're ignoring the insult. It means you're acknowledging it without letting it disturb your inner peace. Your value isn't determined by what others say or do, but by your ability to endure and rise above life's inevitable negativity. Reflect on those times when a harsh word or a slight disrupted your peace. We all have those moments. They're a part of the human experience, yet... Every insult is an opportunity to practice self-control, to remind yourself that your peace of mind is under your control, not someone else's. This principle isn't just about dealing with insults, it's about cultivating a mindset that can handle all of life's challenges with grace and resilience. Let's dive deeper. When you face an insult, do you immediately react with anger or hurt? Or do you pause, take a deep breath, and consider the situation from a stoic perspective? This pause is crucial. It gives you a moment to choose your response rather than being a slave to your initial reaction. This is where true strength lies, in the ability to control your own mind. Epictetus, 
and other Stoic philosophers believed that our judgments and opinions are what shape our experiences. By changing the way we view insults, we change the impact they have on us. Picture you're a rock in the sea. The waves crash against you, but you remain unmoved, steadfast. This is the Stoic way, to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity. When someone insults you, they are like the waves. They can crash against you, but they don't have to move you. You have the power to stay grounded, to choose your reaction. This isn't about being emotionless. It's about being emotionally intelligent, about understanding your feelings and choosing how to express them. Think back to a time when you reacted calmly to an insult. How did it feel? Did you feel a sense of triumph, of control over your own emotions? This sense of triumph is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It elevates you, fortifying your journey through life's adversities. Every time you choose a Stoic response over a knee-jerk reaction, you're building your resilience, your inner strength. But how do you cultivate this resilience? It starts with mindfulness, with being aware of your thoughts and emotions. When you notice an insult starting to affect you, pause and ask yourself, why am I letting this bother me? Is this insult truly harmful, or am I giving it power? This questioning helps you see the situation more clearly, helps you detach from the immediate emotional response. It's a practice, something you get better at with time and patience. Remember, every insult is a test of your stoic principles. It's an opportunity to practice indifference, to show that your peace of mind is not at the mercy of others. By mastering your response to insults, you not only protect your own well-being, but also set an example for others. You show that true strength lies in self-control, in the ability to remain unmoved by the negativity of others. So next time someone insults you, take a deep breath and remember Epictetus's words. The insult has no power unless you give it power. Choose to rise above, to remain calm and composed. In doing so, you fortify your mind and spirit, preparing yourself for whatever challenges life may throw your way. This is the essence of Stoicism, not just enduring adversity but thriving in the face of it, with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. How will you respond the next time someone tries to bring you down? Will you let their words affect you, or will you choose the path of the Stoic? unshaken, and undeterred. Lesson 2. Resolute Intentions What if you're standing at a crossroads ready to embark on a journey of profound self-discovery and resilience, only to be met with skepticism and ridicule? Such is often the path when one declares their intention to delve into the timeless philosophy of Stoicism. Suddenly he's a philosopher, they jeer or look at this newfound arrogance. It's in these moments that your commitment to Stoicism is tested. Firm purposes, a central tenet of this ancient wisdom, demand unwavering dedication, despite the cacophony of dissenting voices. Epictetus, a luminary in the Stoic tradition, reminds us that succumbing to the fear of judgment is a dual folly. Not only do we fail ourselves by abandoning our path, but we also betray our potential by conforming to societal pressures. The essence of Stoicism lies in enduring temporary discomfort for the ultimate satisfaction of living in harmony with our true nature. I will not let the opinions of others dictate my identity or my capabilities, should be your mantra as you face life's inevitable crossroads. This mindset aligns with the Stoic pursuit of authenticity and purpose. To embrace Stoicism fully, one must internalize its core principles, starting with the understanding that control over our reactions, rather than external events, is where true power lies. This concept is succinctly captured in the words of Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This realization is liberating and serves as a foundation for a stoic life. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, emotions, and actions, 
we liberate ourselves from the futile attempts to influence the uncontrollable external world. This principle encourages us to approach life's challenges with equanimity, fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Another vital Stoic principle is the acceptance of fate, or amor fati. This doctrine teaches us to love our fate, whatever it may be. Instead of resisting or lamenting our circumstances, we should embrace them as opportunities for growth and learning. As Epictetus wisely stated, do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. This acceptance transforms our perspective, enabling us to find peace and contentment regardless of our situation. By reframing challenges as opportunities, we cultivate a mindset that is both resilient and adaptable. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us the importance of living in accordance with nature and reason. This means aligning our actions and decisions with rational thought and the natural order of the world. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized this principle by saying, Follow the course which nature has laid down, and accept what happens as it is, not as you would like it to be. Living in accordance with nature involves recognizing and respecting the interconnectedness of all things, understanding our place within the broader cosmos, and acting in ways that contribute to the common good. This holistic approach to life fosters a sense of unity and purpose, guiding us toward ethical and meaningful actions. In the modern hustle, these stoic principles are more relevant than ever. The fast-paced, often chaotic nature of contemporary life can leave us feeling overwhelmed and disconnected. By adopting a stoic mindset, we can navigate these challenges with greater clarity and composure. For instance, in a high-stress work environment, applying the principle of focusing on what we can control can significantly reduce anxiety and increase productivity. Instead of worrying about outcomes beyond our control, we can channel our energy into performing our tasks to the best of our ability, thereby achieving a sense of accomplishment and peace. Additionally, in our personal lives, embracing Amor Fati can help us deal with unexpected setbacks or disappointments. Whether it's a failed relationship, a lost job, or any other personal hardship, viewing these events as opportunities for growth can transform our experience from one of suffering to one of resilience and personal development. This shift in perspective not only helps us cope with difficulties, but also empowers us to thrive in the face of adversity. Moreover, the Stoic emphasis on rational living and aligning with nature encourages us to make mindful, ethical decisions that contribute to our well-being and that of others. In a world often driven by short-term gains and superficial values, Stoicism offers a counterbalance that prioritizes long-term fulfillment and virtuous living. By integrating these principles into our daily lives, we can cultivate a deeper sense of purpose and harmony. Ultimately, the journey toward mastering Stoic principles is a continuous process that requires patience, practice, and perseverance. The wisdom of the Stoic philosophers serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path to a life of serenity, strength, and fulfillment. As we strive to embody these teachings, we not only enrich our own lives, but also inspire others to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and resilience. In the words of Seneca, Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. Embrace the challenges, stay true to your purpose, and let the principles of Stoicism guide you to a life of enduring strength and tranquility. Lesson 3. Confronting Fear and Shame in our third lesson, we explore the deep-seated fears of dishonor and insignificance, a theme that resonates profoundly in our contemporary world, particularly among men aged 30 to 65. The fear of living in dishonor or being perceived as unimportant often plagues us. It is crucial to understand that if our honor depended on the opinions of others, we would be giving them the power to control our happiness. This, however, is not the case. No one can force us to engage in actions that compromise our values. Their quest for power or social recognition is their journey, 
not ours. Why should we regard the lack of power or social invitations as a sign of dishonor? Why should this dictate our worth? In reality, our significance lies in what we can control, in the decisions that genuinely reflect our character. This stoic principle holds immense relevance today. Reflect on the times you have acted against your will, just for approval, especially in the digital age. Social media platforms like Instagram often become battlegrounds for social validation, a pursuit that can poison our true selves. We must ponder, is it worth altering our essence for fleeting satisfaction? Should we place our mental well-being in the hands of others? The answer is a resounding no. Think about a scenario where you are caught in an embarrassing yet harmless act. Should the laughter or marginalization of others concern you? What about the fleeting popularity it might bring? If your contentment hinges on popularity, you are setting yourself up for a life of conflict and tension, constantly altering your identity to maintain a certain status. This is not the path to true happiness. As Stoics, we must anchor our happiness in what we can control, not in the fickle hands of public opinion. By doing so, we maintain our serenity and resilience true to the Stoicism. Let us consider a modern-day example. Imagine you are at a corporate party, and in a moment of excitement you accidentally spill your drink. The room goes silent, and you can feel the eyes of your colleagues on you, some smirking, others whispering. In that split second, you have a choice. Allow their reactions to dictate your feelings or remain composed, understanding that such incidents do not define your worth. By maintaining your composure, you demonstrate to yourself and others that your sense of honor and self-respect is not swayed by external judgments. This principle also applies to the online world. Many people meticulously curate their online personas, often compromising their true selves for likes and followers. This constant need for validation can lead to anxiety and a sense of unworthiness when the expected recognition does not come. We must ask ourselves, are we living authentically, or are we molding ourselves to fit the expectations of others? The true essence of Stoicism encourages us to be genuine, to align our actions with our values, and not to seek external validation. One open-ended question to ponder. What aspects of your life are influenced by the fear of dishonor or the need for social validation, and how can you reclaim control over them? Engaging with this question allows for introspection and invites you to identify areas where you can practice Stoic principles more effectively. In essence, the lesson of fear and dishonor in Stoicism teaches us to ground our sense of self-worth in our actions and choices, not in the fluctuating opinions of others. By embracing this mindset, we liberate ourselves from the constant worry about how we are perceived, leading to a more serene and resilient life. Remember, your honor and happiness are in your hands, governed by your actions and decisions. This is the path to true contentment, one that no external force can take away. If you've made it this far, you're a true seeker of wisdom. Drop a comment saying, I am unshaken to show you're embracing the power of stoicism. Stick around. The journey to inner peace has just begun. Lesson 4. Controlling Your Mind Imagine for a moment handing your body over to a stranger you meet on the street. Such an act would be utterly unthinkable, wouldn't it? Yet paradoxically, we frequently surrender our minds to the whims of others, allowing their words to plant seeds of confusion, doubt, and deception. This principle echoes a truth we've explored before. The power to transform an insult into an offense lies solely within us. Epictetus, a sage of Stoicism, imparts a vital lesson here. He urges us to treat our minds with the same reverence and care we reserve for our bodies. Consider this. You wouldn't dream of inviting a stranger into your home every day knowing the potential risks. Yet when you internalize an insult, giving it the power to offend, you are essentially opening the doors of your mind to an intruder, allowing them to linger, perhaps for days, weeks, or even longer. Why then do we so readily admit these strangers into the sanctuaries of our minds? when we would staunchly refuse them entry into our homes. 
to cultivate the ability to disregard the negative emotions spawned by offense, we must diligently build discipline and self-control. This practice is not confined to abstract situations, but extends to all facets of life, including interactions with our family, friends, and colleagues. When anger arises, master it. By doing so, you avert a multitude of needless sufferings and foster a deeper harmony within yourself. Trust in this journey. It has the potential to mark a pivotal turning point in your life. Think about this. How often have you allowed a thoughtless comment to ruin your day? How often have you replayed a slight in your mind, letting it fester and grow out of proportion? By mastering your mind, you can stop this cycle and reclaim your peace. In today's world, where we are incessantly bombarded by external stimuli and opinions from social media, news, and even those around us, this lesson is more relevant than ever. It serves as a powerful reminder to guard our minds with the same vigilance we protect our physical well-being. Marcus Aurelius, another revered Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote encapsulates the essence of Stoicism and reinforces our belief in the immense power of the mind. By applying this wisdom, we can navigate the complexities of modern life with stoic grace, turning challenges into opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Epictetus teaches us that the key to mastering our mind lies in our ability to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. This distinction is crucial, for it allows us to focus our energy on what we can change, our thoughts, actions, and reactions, while letting go of what we cannot. Imagine a ship navigating through a stormy sea. The captain cannot control the weather, but they can control the ship's course, adjust the sails, and steer through the tumultuous waters. Similarly, we cannot control the actions of others or the external events that occur around us, but we can control how we respond to them. Reflect on this. How often do we waste our mental energy worrying about things we cannot change? By shifting our focus to what is within our power, we free ourselves from unnecessary stress and anxiety. This shift requires practice and mindfulness, but the rewards are profound. As Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, aptly put it, he who suffers before it is necessary, suffers more than is necessary. By mastering your mind, you can avoid unnecessary suffering and maintain your inner peace. One practical way to start mastering your mind is through daily reflection and mindfulness. Take a few moments each day to examine your thoughts and feelings. Are there recurring negative patterns? Are you holding onto grudges or letting small irritations consume you? By becoming aware of these patterns, you can begin to address them and cultivate a more resilient and peaceful mindset. Another technique is to practice gratitude. When you focus on what you are thankful for, you shift your mind away from negativity and towards positivity. Gratitude helps you see the good in your life and strengthens your mental fortitude. As Epictetus said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Engage with this idea. What are some things in your life that you can be grateful for right now? How can focusing on these positives help you build a stronger, more resilient mind? Mastering your mind is not an easy task, but it is an essential one. By treating your mind with the same respect and care as your body, you can guard against the negative influences of others and maintain your inner peace. Remember the wisdom of Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius as you navigate the challenges of modern life. You have the power to control your mind and by doing so transform your life. What steps will you take today to start mastering your mind? How will you begin to distinguish between what is within your control and what is not? Reflect on these questions and take the first step towards a more peaceful, resilient, and fulfilling life. Lesson 5. Restraining Your Actions Have you ever felt pressured to conform to others' expectations even when it contradicts your own values? In a world dominated by social media and external validation, 
it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Let's explore the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, particularly through the teachings of Epictetus, which can empower you to act with unwavering integrity, ensuring that nothing can shake your resolve. In the journey of life, it's crucial to understand the significance of acting according to one's own judgment and values, rather than being swayed by the misconceptions or opinions of others. This lesson delves into the essence of such actions and the importance of self-reliance in decision-making. When you decide to undertake an action that aligns with your best judgment and moral compass, it's imperative to carry it out with conviction and without shame, even if others may misinterpret your intentions. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This quote resonates deeply with our topic, emphasizing the importance of aligning actions with personal truth and integrity. If an action is not correct, it's better to abandon it entirely. However, if your action is just and right, there should be no room for fear or hesitation about others' misjudgments. Epictetus's wisdom shines through reminding us that the core of our actions should be rooted in our own sense of right and wrong, rather than the fickle opinions of the crowd. When we bow to external pressures, we sacrifice our authenticity, leading a life shaped by others' perceptions rather than our own convictions. This concept becomes particularly relevant in the digital age, where social media amplifies external validation and popularity. The constant pursuit of like, shares and followers can easily derail you from your true path, making you abandon what you believe is right due to others' misconceptions. This scenario leads to a life where actions are dictated not by self-guidance, but by the perceptions of others, raising the question of whether such a life is genuinely fulfilling. Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, offers a different approach. It encourages us to turn our focus inward, to our own virtues and values. Marcus Aurelius, another great Stoic philosopher, once said, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This principle is not just a philosophical ideal, but a practical guide for everyday life. Understanding oneself deeply, recognizing personal values, and acting in accordance with them, irrespective of external opinions, is the cornerstone of stoic thought. In today's world where external influences are omnipresent, this stoic practice becomes even more relevant. It serves as a reminder and a guide to navigate through the complexities of modern life while staying true to oneself. Consider the story of Socrates, who, despite being condemned to death, chose to adhere to his principles rather than escape his unjust sentence. His unwavering commitment to his values over societal pressure exemplifies the ultimate Stoic resolve. Similarly, in modern life, maintaining this level of integrity might mean resisting the urge to post something just because it's trending or declining a lucrative job offer that conflicts with your ethical beliefs. It's about making decisions that are congruent with your core values and standing firm in those choices, regardless of external judgments. In our professional lives, this could manifest as choosing ethical practices over profit. In personal relationships, it could mean standing by a friend who is misunderstood by others. Each act of integrity builds upon itself, forging a life that is not only true to your principles, but also deeply fulfilling. The challenge lies in the courage to persist in these actions, especially when the crowd moves in the opposite direction. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. This resonates with the Stoic principle of self-reliance and authenticity. The essence of Stoicism lies in self-awareness and the courage to act according to one's own values, even in the face of misunderstanding or criticism. This lesson is a call to embrace authenticity and integrity, guiding men in their Stoic journey towards a life of virtue and personal fulfillment. By internalizing and practicing these principles, you can ensure that your actions remain true to your values, immune to the ever-changing tides of public opinion. This path, though challenging, 
leads to a life of profound satisfaction and unwavering strength, proving that nothing can affect you when you act in harmony with your own judgment and values. Lesson 6. Accepting Criticism with Stoic Insight In the journey of life, especially as we navigate the complexities of human interactions, encountering criticism or harsh words from others is inevitable. Epictetus, a sage in the realm of Stoicism, offers a profound perspective on this. He suggests that when someone speaks ill of you, it is essential to understand that they are acting based on their perception of what is right. This understanding is crucial in maintaining a serene mind and a resilient spirit, hallmarks of a devoted Stoic. When someone criticizes or insults you, remember that this person is operating from their viewpoint, which may be clouded by misconceptions or a lack of understanding of your true intentions. This is akin to a traveler judging a path they have never walked. Their perspective is limited to their experiences and beliefs. Therefore, when faced with such situations, it is wise to reflect inwardly and ask yourself, have I acted in alignment with my values and principles? If the answer is affirmative, then the criticism should not disturb your inner peace. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This quote resonates deeply with the Stoic practice of focusing on what is within our control, our actions, thoughts, and responses. When someone speaks ill of you, it is a reflection of their reality, not yours. Your reality is shaped by your actions, intentions, and the wisdom you carry within. In today's world, where opinions are often shared freely and judgments are passed quickly, it is more important than ever to anchor ourselves in Stoic wisdom. The advice is clear. If you face criticism, yet know in your heart that you have acted rightly, carry no burden of regret. Instead, view such moments as opportunities to reaffirm your commitment to living a life guided by virtue and wisdom. Think of a scenario in modern life. You're at work, and you've just completed a project that you put a lot of effort into. However, during the review meeting, a colleague harshly criticizes your work, questioning your competence. At that moment, it's natural to feel defensive or upset. But take a step back and reflect on Epictetus's teaching. Consider your colleague's criticism as their perspective, not an absolute truth. They might not see the effort you put in or understand the constraints you faced. Ask yourself, did I do my best? Did I stay true to my principles and work ethic? If yes, then their words lose power over your emotions. By embracing this mindset, you transform criticism into a tool for personal growth. Instead of being hurt or discouraged, you become curious. You might even ask your colleague for specific feedback, showing that you value improvement over validation. This approach not only demonstrates your resilience, but also fosters a more constructive and positive work environment. Over time, others will notice your composure and integrity, further establishing your reputation as someone who is not easily rattled by negativity. Furthermore, consider how this stoic principle can apply to personal relationships. Imagine a close friend misunderstanding your actions and expressing disappointment in you. Such moments can be painful, but they also offer a chance to practice empathy and understanding. Recognize that your friend's reaction is shaped by their experiences and feelings. Instead of reacting defensively, engage in a calm and honest conversation. Explain your perspective, listen to theirs, and seek common ground. This not only helps to resolve the misunderstanding, but also strengthens your relationship by building mutual respect and trust. Now, let's ponder this. How often do we let the opinions of others dictate our self-worth and happiness? Isn't it more empowering to base our sense of self on our values and actions? By internalizing this stoic wisdom, we gain a shield against the fluctuating opinions of the external world. We learn to stand firm in our convictions and remain unshaken by unwarranted criticism. When confronted with criticism or harsh words, Remember that each person's perspective is shaped by their unique experiences and beliefs. 
As a Stoic, your strength lies in recognizing this, reflecting on your actions, and maintaining your tranquility. By doing so, you not only uphold the Stoic principles, but also navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Criticism, when viewed through the lens of Stoic philosophy, becomes an opportunity for self-reflection and growth, rather than a source of distress. So the next time you face criticism, embrace it with the wisdom of Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius. Reflect on your actions, reaffirm your commitment to your values, and continue your journey with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. This is the true essence of living a Stoic life. Lesson 7. Foreseeing Challenges As we journey through life, especially those of us aged 30 to 65 who are embracing Stoicism, the ability to understand and anticipate obstacles becomes a pivotal skill. This foresight equips us not only to navigate life's unpredictable waves, but also to ensure our mental fortitude remains unshaken in tumultuous times. The Stoic practice of premeditatio malorum, or the anticipation of evils, is a profound exercise in this regard. This is not about wallowing in pessimism or fear. Instead, it's about fortifying our emotional resilience and cultivating a mindset that's ever ready to face life's challenges head on. Think of a captain at sea who, before setting sail, contemplates the storms he might encounter. He doesn't do this to frighten himself but to prepare. In a similar vein, by reflecting on potential criticisms, judgments, or negative opinions we might face, we're not indulging in fear, but preparing our minds for calm and composed action. This mental rehearsal allows us to strategize and formulate action plans, making us more adept at handling these situations when they arise. Moreover, this practice teaches us the art of emotional detachment from outcomes. It's a reminder that while we can steer our ship, we can't control the sea. The waves of external events, including the opinions and judgments of others, are outside our realm of control. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. By internalizing this, we learn not to be swayed or shaken by externalities. How often do we find ourselves thrown off balance by an unexpected criticism or a sudden change in plans? What if, instead of being surprised, we had already considered these possibilities and prepared ourselves to respond with calm and reason? In today's fast-paced world where opinions are often amplified and judgments swift, this lesson is more relevant than ever. It's a call to focus on what's within our control, our actions, our responses, our values. By anticipating and preparing for life's obstacles, we not only become more resilient, but also more adept at navigating the complexities of modern life. When you think about your daily interactions, how many times do you react impulsively to a negative comment or a stressful situation? What if you had already envisioned this scenario and rehearsed a measured, thoughtful response? The practice of premeditatio malorum helps us do just that. It's about envisioning the possible pitfalls and preparing ourselves mentally and emotionally so we are not caught off guard. Consider the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who advised, Begin each day by telling yourself, Today I shall be meeting with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness all of them due to the offender's ignorance of what is good or evil. By setting this expectation, we arm ourselves with a resilient mindset. We acknowledge that obstacles are inevitable and prepare to meet them with grace and composure. What kind of impact would this mindset have on your daily life? How might it transform your interactions and your overall sense of well-being? This practice is not about becoming cynical or expecting the worst at all times. Rather, it's about understanding the nature of life and human behavior. It's about being realistic and pragmatic, recognizing that challenges and setbacks are part and parcel of our existence. When we anticipate obstacles, we are not inviting negativity but equipping ourselves with the tools to handle it. Reflect on your recent experiences. 
How many times were you caught off guard by a challenge you didn't foresee? How might things have been different if you had anticipated and prepared for that possibility? By incorporating the practice of premeditatio malorum into our daily routine, we train our minds to remain steady and composed. We develop a habit of foresight and preparedness that serves us well in every aspect of life. Imagine how your outlook might shift if you started each day by contemplating the potential obstacles and preparing yourself to face them with courage and wisdom. How would this practice change the way you approach your goals, your relationships, and your personal growth? So, as we continue on our stoic journey, let us embrace this practice not with fear, but with the wisdom and courage to face whatever comes our way. The next time you find yourself anticipating a meeting, an important decision, or a challenging conversation, take a moment to consider the possible obstacles. Visualize how you will respond with calm and strength, guided by the principles of Stoicism. How will this preparation empower you to handle the situation with poise and confidence? In embracing the anticipation of obstacles, we are not only preparing for the storms, but also reinforcing our inner resilience. We become like the seasoned captain who, having weathered many storms, knows how to navigate through the fiercest of seas. As you integrate this practice into your life, notice the shift in your mindset and the newfound sense of control and tranquility it brings. How will this shift impact your journey and your pursuit of a stoic life? Remember, the goal is not to eliminate obstacles but to meet them with a fortified spirit. By anticipating and preparing for life's inevitable challenges, we cultivate a resilient mind and a serene heart. This practice, deeply rooted in the teachings of Epictetus and other Stoic philosophers, offers us a timeless strategy for living a life of wisdom and inner peace. How will you begin to apply this principle in your daily life? And what changes do you anticipate as a result? Let this lesson be a guiding light on your path, helping you navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience. Thank you for being in this video. What Stoic principle from Epictetus do you find most challenging to apply in your daily life? And why? If you don't know how to write a review, Try sharing a personal experience where you tried to apply one of Epictetus's principles and what your results were. Lesson 8. Only you can permit harm. Picture standing at the helm of your life, a steady captain amidst turbulent seas, with the wisdom of ancient Stoics as your guiding star. Our journey into Stoic philosophy brings us to a crucial lesson. No one can hurt you unless we allow it. This principle, deeply embedded in the teachings of Epictetus, is a cornerstone of resilience and self-mastery. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters, he wisely noted. This insight underlines the stoic belief that our internal world remains inviolable unless we ourselves relinquish control. In every interaction and relationship, whether with family, neighbors, or strangers, the power to remain unaffected by others' actions rests solely with us. Our freedom, in harmony with nature, is the essence of Stoicism. As we navigate the complexities of daily life, it's vital to internalize this empowering message. You are the master of your mind. When confronted with disrespect or misunderstanding, remember that others' external actions cannot dictate your internal state unless you allow them to. Allowing their words or behaviors to disrupt your peace achieves nothing positive. It merely disturbs your tranquility. Reflect on this thought. How much longer will you delay your journey towards personal progress and rational adherence? The stoic principle of self-improvement should be as familiar as your reflection in the mirror. Adulthood is not just about reaching a certain age, but achieving a state of mind free from negligence, laziness, and excuses. Without embracing these principles, life can slip by unnoticed, devoid of meaningful progress, leaving one in a perpetual state of immaturity. In the relentless pace of our modern world, where external factors constantly vie for our attention, this lesson is more pertinent than ever. Stoic advice is unequivocal. Focus on what you can control, your thoughts and reactions, 
and release what you cannot. This approach not only brings inner peace but also empowers you to live a life of purpose and significance. The journey of Stoicism is not about detaching from the world, but mastering the art of remaining unaffected by its chaos while fully engaging with it. This is the path to true freedom and happiness. Epictetus reminds us, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Our perceptions often amplify pain and discomfort beyond the actual events. The key is to realign our focus inward, prioritizing our reactions over the actions of others. Each encounter is an opportunity to practice this principle, reinforcing our inner fortress against external assaults. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic sage, advised, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. His words echo the essence of Stoic resilience, urging us to reclaim our power and find strength within. Embracing Stoicism today means cultivating a mindset that sees obstacles as opportunities for growth. When faced with challenges, ask yourself, is this within my control? If not, redirect your energy to what you can change, your thoughts, your responses, your attitude. This mental shift is transformative fostering a resilient and composed outlook on life. As Seneca said, he who is brave is free. Courage in the face of adversity and unwavering commitment to inner peace liberates us from the shackles of external circumstances. Consider the daily grind of modern life, filled with stressors and demands. Traffic jams, workplace conflicts, and personal misunderstandings are all part of the human experience. However, applying Stoic principles can transform these irritations into moments of reflection and growth. Instead of reacting with frustration, pause and reflect. What can I learn from this? How can I maintain my peace? This practice not only enhances personal resilience, but also improves relationships and interactions, fostering a calmer, more constructive environment. By integrating Stoicism into our lives, we cultivate a mindset that is not swayed by external chaos. We become like a sturdy oak in a storm, grounded and unwavering. This mental fortitude is essential for achieving true happiness and fulfillment. Remember, the essence of Stoic wisdom lies in its practical application. To live virtuously, to act with integrity, and to remain unaffected by the whims of fate. This timeless philosophy offers a roadmap to navigate the complexities of life with grace and strength. Let the teachings of Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, and Seneca be your compass. Embrace the Stoic principle that no one can hurt you unless you allow it. Focus on what you can control and release what you cannot. This shift in perspective is the key to unlocking a life of peace, purpose, and resilience. As you journey through the ebbs and flows of life, remember that true freedom and happiness come from within, nurtured by a stoic mindset that remains unshaken by the external world. It's undeniable that your life is shaped by the thoughts and behaviors of those around you. Being in the company of talented and kind individuals naturally leads us to adopt similar actions and habits. Conversely, when surrounded by negative people, we may unknowingly become more pessimistic over time. So we need to master the above principles to always be able to develop ourselves. Besides, there are also a few more aspects that positively affect your life. Next, we will reveal to you a few points. 1. Motivation is easy to spread. The influence of your social circle. Your social circle represents your values. It is a reflection of your beliefs, aspirations, and the principles that guide your actions. The people you choose to surround yourself with have a profound impact on your motivation, behavior, and overall outlook on life. When you interact with individuals who have high expectations and a strong drive to succeed, you are easily influenced by their energy and enthusiasm. This phenomenon is not just anecdotal, but is supported by numerous studies in psychology and sociology, which demonstrate the significant role that social influence plays 
in shaping our behaviors and attitudes. Think about working in a team where 80% of the members are always motivated, driven, and passionate about their work. This group of individuals is consistently striving to achieve their goals, pushing themselves and each other to do better every day. Their collective energy creates an environment that is conducive to high performance, innovation, and continuous improvement. In such a setting, it becomes almost impossible for the remaining 20% of the team, who may initially be disengaged or less motivated, to remain unaffected by the prevailing atmosphere of enthusiasm and dedication. For this 20%, they essentially face two choices. The first option is to give up the job, unable to cope with the high expectations and the pressure to perform. The second option is to accept the influence of the majority, internalize the team's values, and strive to do better. This scenario is a classic example of social conformity, where individuals adapt their behaviors and attitudes to align with the group norms. The influence of a motivated majority can be so strong that it compels even the most disengaged members to step up their game, improve their performance, and contribute to the team's success. Regardless of the choice made by the disengaged individuals, the outcome remains beneficial for the team as a whole. If the less motivated members decide to leave, the team retains only those who are dedicated and driven, thereby maintaining a high level of performance and productivity. On the other hand, if the disengaged members choose to adapt and improve, the overall team performance is enhanced as more individuals contribute positively to the group's objectives. In either case, the motivated majority sets the tone for the entire team, ensuring that dedication and hard work remain the defining characteristics of the group. The concept of social influence extends beyond the workplace and can be observed in various aspects of life, including personal relationships, educational settings, and community involvement. When you are surrounded by people who are passionate about their goals, whether it is in academics, sports, or personal development, their motivation tends to rub off on you. You find yourself inspired to set higher standards, push your limits, and achieve more than you thought possible. This is why it is often said that motivation is contagious. It spreads easily from person to person, creating a ripple effect that can transform entire communities. Moreover, the impact of social influence is not limited to positive behaviors. Just as motivation and high expectations can inspire individuals to perform better, negative attitudes and behaviors can also spread within a group, leading to a decline in performance and morale. This underscores the importance of carefully choosing the people you associate with and the environments you immerse yourself in. By surrounding yourself with positive, motivated, and high-achieving individuals, you are more likely to develop similar traits and achieve your own goals. The energy and attitudes of those around you play a crucial role in shaping your own motivation and behavior. By aligning yourself with people who have high expectations and a strong drive to succeed, you can create a supportive and inspiring environment that encourages you to strive for excellence. Whether in the workplace, personal relationships, or other areas of life, the influence of a motivated majority can lead to significant improvements in performance and overall well-being. Therefore, it is essential to be mindful of your social circle and to seek out environments that foster positivity, motivation, and continuous growth. 2. Talented people will give you the motivation to develop. In any environment, the people around you have a profound impact on your growth and development. When surrounded by individuals with low average standards, the tasks at hand may seem easy and effortless. This environment can create a false sense of adequacy, making you feel as though you are performing well enough compared to those around you. However, even if you outperform your peers in such settings, you are likely not reaching your full potential. On the other hand, being in the company of highly motivated and talented individuals fosters a continuous drive for improvement. These individuals are constantly striving to better themselves, setting higher benchmarks for success. When you spend time with them, it becomes evident that there is always room for growth. This realization propels you to seek out new challenges and to push your boundaries further than you thought possible. For instance, consider the scenario of learning a foreign language. 
If you practice with people who have an average level of proficiency, you might feel content with your abilities, thinking they are adequate. The lack of significant challenge in this environment can lead to complacency. However, when you engage with individuals who are exceptionally skilled in the language, your perspective shifts. Suddenly, your proficiency appears lacking and you become aware of how much more effort you need to invest to reach a higher level of competence. This comparison serves as a powerful motivator, urging you to practice harder and strive for excellence. The influence of talented individuals extends beyond skill development. Their presence can also inspire you to adopt better habits and mindsets. For example, highly motivated people often exhibit strong work ethics, resilience, and a positive attitude towards challenges. Observing these traits firsthand can encourage you to cultivate similar qualities within yourself. You learn to approach problems with a proactive mindset, viewing obstacles as opportunities for growth rather than setbacks. Moreover, being in a stimulating environment can ignite your creativity and innovation. Talented individuals often think outside the box and come up with unique solutions to problems. Exposure to such creative thinking can broaden your own perspectives, enabling you to tackle challenges with fresh and innovative approaches. This environment fosters a culture of continuous learning and adaptation, essential for personal and professional development. The energy and enthusiasm that talented individuals bring into your life can have a contagious effect. Their passion for their work and relentless pursuit of excellence can inspire you to elevate your own standards. This heightened sense of ambition drives you to set more challenging goals and to persevere until you achieve them. The progress you make in such an environment is often exponential, as you're constantly pushed to go beyond your comfort zone and to excel. However, it is important to recognize that surrounding yourself with talented individuals does not mean comparing yourself negatively or feeling inadequate. Instead, it is about leveraging their presence as a source of inspiration and motivation. It is about learning from their strengths and using that knowledge to enhance your own abilities. This mindset shift can transform how you view challenges and setbacks, seeing them as integral parts of your growth journey rather than insurmountable obstacles. The company you keep plays a crucial role in shaping your personal and professional development. While being surrounded by individuals with low standards can create a false sense of adequacy, spending time with highly motivated and talented people can drive you to continually improve and strive for excellence. Their influence can inspire you to adopt better habits, think creatively, and set higher goals. Embracing this environment not only enhances your skills, but also fosters a growth mindset that is essential for long-term success. By seeking out and engaging with talented individuals, you position yourself on a path of continuous development and achievement. 3. Make friends with people who exhibit unstoppable effort. Getting into a good university is a commendable achievement, but it's just the beginning. The journey towards personal and professional excellence doesn't end there. One of the most powerful ways to keep your motivation high and continuously learn is by surrounding yourself with individuals who consistently strive to be their best. These people aren't just successful. They are relentless in their pursuit of excellence, and they possess a clear vision for their future. By making friends with such individuals, you open yourself up to a wealth of inspiration and knowledge that can profoundly influence your own path. When you associate with people who put in unwavering effort at work and have a clear sense of direction, you are naturally encouraged to adopt similar behaviors and mindsets. This environment fosters a culture of excellence and ambition, where the norm is to always push beyond current limits. Observing and interacting with these individuals can provide invaluable insights into their thinking processes, work ethics, and strategies for overcoming obstacles. One of the key benefits of befriending people who exhibit unstoppable effort is the opportunity to learn from their experiences. These individuals often have a wealth of knowledge in various areas of life, from career strategies to personal development techniques. Engaging in conversations with them can reveal new perspectives and ideas that you might not have considered before. 
It's not just about academic or professional knowledge. Their life experiences, attitudes towards challenges, and methods of maintaining motivation can offer lessons that are applicable across different aspects of life. Regularly interact with high achievers, attend the same events, join similar groups or clubs, and participate in activities where you can observe and learn from their behaviors and mindsets. Take note of the specific actions and attitudes that contribute to their success. Reflect on how these can be adapted to your own life. This might include their approaches to time management, problem solving, or maintaining a positive outlook during tough times. Don't hesitate to ask for advice or insights. High achievers often have valuable lessons to share, and showing interest in their experiences can lead to meaningful conversations and deeper understanding. High achievers often have clear, well-defined goals. Emulate this by setting your own goals and breaking them down into actionable steps. Regularly review and adjust these goals as you progress. One of the hallmarks of unstoppable effort is persistence. Emulate this trait by staying committed to your goals, even when faced with setbacks. View challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. High achievers are lifelong learners. Adopt a mindset of continuous improvement by seeking out new knowledge and skills. This could involve reading books, taking courses, or simply staying curious about the world around you. The influence of those around you cannot be overstated. Just as negative associations can lead to a decline in your own outlook and performance, positive associations can have the opposite effect. When you surround yourself with people who are dedicated, hardworking, and future-oriented, you are more likely to develop similar qualities. Their energy and enthusiasm can be infectious, helping you to stay motivated and focused on your own goals. Making friends with people who exhibit unstoppable effort is a powerful strategy for personal and professional growth. By learning from their experiences and emulating their behaviors, you can cultivate a mindset of excellence and resilience. Remember, the company you keep plays a crucial role in shaping your own journey. Choose wisely and strive to surround yourself with individuals who inspire and challenge you to be the best version of yourself. As we conclude our journey through the enlightening realm of the eight Stoic principles, I encourage each of you to not just ponder these teachings, but to actively integrate them into the fabric of your daily lives. Remember, the true essence of Stoicism lies in its application. It's about transforming these principles into actions that fortify your resilience, enhance your serenity, and elevate your happiness. Each principle we discuss today offers a unique insight into navigating life's challenges with grace and strength. Whether it's embracing the wisdom of Epictetus or finding peace in accepting what we cannot control, these teachings are designed to empower you in every aspect of your life. I invite you to share in the comments how you plan to implement these Stoic principles in your life. What challenges do you foresee? How do you envision these teachings shaping your path to personal growth? Your insights not only enrich our community, but also serve as a beacon of inspiration for fellow Stoic travelers. Let's continue to support each other on this Stoic journey, fostering a community where wisdom leads to action, and action leads to a more fulfilled life. Imagine starting your day with the conscious practice of these principles. When faced with a difficult situation, pause and reflect on what is within your control and what is not. Allow yourself to let go of the uncontrollable, thus freeing your mind from unnecessary stress and anxiety. Picture yourself calmly addressing each challenge with the wisdom and composure that Stoicism teaches. This isn't just theoretical knowledge. It's a practical guide to living a better, more resilient life. For instance, consider the principle of focusing on what you can control. In your professional life, this might mean dedicating your efforts to tasks you can directly influence and not worrying excessively about outcomes beyond your reach. In your personal life, it could involve nurturing relationships and personal goals where your actions make a significant difference rather than being consumed by the opinions or actions of others. Another powerful principle is to align your actions with nature and reason. This means living in harmony with the natural order of things and making decisions based on rational thought 
rather than emotional reactions. When faced with a decision, take a moment to consider the most reasonable and natural course of action, one that aligns with your values and long-term goals. This approach can lead to more thoughtful and effective decision-making. Embracing the stoic principle of viewing obstacles as opportunities for growth can transform your perspective on life's challenges. Every setback becomes a chance to strengthen your character and refine your approach. When you encounter difficulties, remind yourself that these are the moments that shape and define your resilience. Share your stories in the comments about how you've turned obstacles into stepping stones. Your experiences can inspire others to see their challenges in a new light. Furthermore, the practice of gratitude, a fundamental stoic exercise, can significantly enhance your sense of contentment and happiness. By regularly acknowledging and appreciating what you have, you shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. This shift in perspective fosters a deeper sense of fulfillment and joy. I encourage you to start a gratitude journal or share your daily gratitudes with our community. Let's cultivate a collective practice of appreciation that enriches our lives and strengthens our stoic resolve. Let's also remember the importance of accepting impermanence and change, a core stoic belief. Life is in constant flux, and our ability to adapt with a calm and resilient spirit is crucial. Reflect on the transient nature of life's events and relationships, and learn to appreciate each moment without attachment. How do you cope with change? What strategies help you maintain your equilibrium during transitions? Share your experiences and tips as they could be incredibly valuable to someone else facing similar challenges. As we journey together in this exploration of Stoic philosophy, let's commit to making these principles a living, breathing part of our daily existence. Your journey in Stoicism is not just about understanding life's ebbs and flows, but mastering the art of navigating through them with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. Your participation and engagement make this community vibrant and supportive, a true sanctuary where ancient wisdom meets modern hustle. Thank you for being a part of Stoic in your life. Let's continue to inspire and uplift each other, transforming these timeless principles into a powerful force for personal growth and happiness. Until next time, stay resilient, stay serene, and keep thriving on this stoic path.